Okay. We're on. Okay. So it's very, very natural. For me, like the course, the course in miracles is at a at an extremely high vibration. Uh, the course in miracles. I think it actually does say somewhere. It's a, it, it's a text for enlightenment, or anyway, foundation for inner peace, uh, which is kind of enlightenment. So it's one of those texts which is so ego bashing that the ego will hate to do that, especially the daily lessons. It would absolutely detest and hate that. Um, and um, I think nearly everyone I've spoken to, including myself, you know, as I do the lessons, I'll forget what they are, you know, and I have to like look back because the ego just doesn't want to hold. You know, if my ego give 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 my ego a grievance or a resentment, it'll just remember it without any any problems. But give it like um, give it like uh, a course of miracles lessons, like well, you know, all my I do remember some of them because they're, they're one of my favourites. Like all my thoughts are meaningless. You know, um, but some of them I just forget within a couple of minutes. So it's it's at such a high vibration. It's like it's at the vibration of no ego. So that's why your ego doesn't want to remember it because if you just kept the, it just dissolves the ego, all of the lessons. So it's like it has a huge detestation. Uh, it's also very very common with course students to you know like the first time I picked it up. Why did I pick up the course? Oh yes, I read Marion Williamson's A Return to Love uh, in many, many years ago. And then I thought I'd better have a look at The Course of Miracles. I went to a bookshop to have a look at it for free. I started reading it and I, it was like I couldn't, it was like I felt like vomiting. And so I didn't pick it up for many, many years until I got introduced to my next teacher, uh, Dr. Hawkins. And I think because I met him, there was a transmission of his energy, and so I could immediately understand the course and do it without any problems. But um, so that resistance is going to come up. I'm a great fan because I've had so many miracles. Uh, Dr. Hawkins had about 23 illnesses leave him by doing the lessons, and he, he ran a group where people with things like AIDS, cancer, mycelium gravis, all lost their illnesses. I had three major illnesses, and they all left as I did the lessons. So it really does deflate, you know, the underpinnings of the ego, especially lesson, one of the powerful lessons, lesson 14, God did not create it, so it's not real. God did not create anger in the world, so it's not real. God did not create injustices in the world, so they're not real. God did not create, uh, God did not create um, um, ego thinking in the world, so it's not real. God did not create anxiety in the world, so it's not real. So. You know, God did not create resistance to doing the Course in Miracles, so it's not real. So these, these lessons can, you know, really dissolve uh, the ego. So I, you know, I always share my experience to share that, you know, uh, look, actually, you know, people often stopping before around lesson 70, 80 is quite normal. But I think that's probably the far end. A lot of people quit a lot before that, actually, probably like. 7, 8, 20, 25, most people, 70 is quite far. Very few people will do it every day and get to the end. Yep. Quick question. Yep. If somebody, I mean, when I said 70, it was arbitrary, but it was yep. around that time. Yeah. If you have a long period of time in between that and decide you want to go back into it, yes. is it better to start from scratch or from where you left off? Or is there no well, it, it would depend on who's asking the question. Right. For me, for somebody who um, who is quite spiritually aware or has done the co done a lot of the course, I would carry on from when they left off uh, and just carry on because it's like all the lessons for me are like self-contained, mm. and it's like each lesson is just an enlightening experience. So for me, it just doesn't matter which lesson I pick up. You know, every lesson is going to be equally good for me. Um, I think uh, if you are, um, um, I think generally speaking that would be my advice to most people because perfectionism and ego, ego perfectionism of uh, having to start again is one of the major problems <coughs> of people not making progress. One of the common ones, which is just a common ego thing, is like I haven't done it perfectly today so I'll do it again tomorrow. And then, well, I still haven't done it perfectly today, so I'm going to do it again tomorrow to get it perfectly done before I move on. And then they give up. So for me, it's like, 
Hawkins recommended this to me, and I think it's perfect that you don't have to do a lesson perfectly, you should move on to the next lesson the next day. So generally I would. I think there might be uh, a few examples, but I think no, actually that would be my general advice. Even if you're new and you, you got up to lesson 30 and took a break, get on to lesson 31. Why do I say that? Because I've been doing a lesson a day, uh, more or less without fail, for the last, I don't know, eight, nine years. And, you know, you just come back to it next year anyway. It's not like, it's like, oh my God, I'll never get another chance to do lesson 28 again. And if I don't get it, my life's going to fall to pieces. So I better go back and do lesson one again. And go. No, you know, it's like, you, you know, I, I, I revisit them year after year after year. So there's no need for perfection. And I think going on to the next lesson, I think all of you have experienced this. It's like what you couldn't understand before, just by going on to the next few lessons, you get it in retrospect, is I've always had that experience. I always found that even if you don't understand, carry on, and you'll understand later on what you couldn't understand uh, later on. It just It's like the Holy Spirit will tell you. Another common thing with the course is often you'll pick up a lesson, not get it, and get it by the end of the day, because it's like you're clear enough of the ego for the Holy Spirit to come in and tell you what it was about, and go, oh, and now I understand why I was saying that lesson which I didn't understand the whole day. So um, I really recommend it. It's like a commitment to do daily lessons and just pick up the next lesson. is like a real commitment to um, a high level. You know, it's really a commitment to enlightenment. You know, I think if you... So the course is at the level of enlightenment, completely dissolving the ego. So if you stop the course, I'm just putting out, this is my view, just take or leave it. If you quit the course and pick up a book at a lower vibration because you think, oh, the ego goes, no, 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 I need to read that book on Tai Chi, you know, and start, start my physical exercises. For me, that is a step backwards. Now, can I, sorry to interrupt on yeah, that one. Yeah, please do. If you're living a spiritual life and you're working through the course or whatever process and you feel that you're quite uplifted and enlightened and I'm not really sure the right terms I should be using there, and you get drawn to a particular piece of work, piece of writing, literature, recording, seminar, or whatever, then is it necessarily coming from the ego? Could it just be coming from a place of inspiration? Well, for me, that, that, that wouldn't necessitate stopping The Course in Miracles. Yeah. Like, you know, like, <coughs> oh my God, you know, I want to, like, listen to this enlightened teacher or do that. Yeah. That doesn't stop you from just doing your, your lesson. Um, Right, so if you're like, oh, I can't be bothered to do this, I want something else, and I'm going to look for another easy option. Yes. Like the, the type of person who will spend their whole day in the self-help section of Waterstones. Yes. Looking for the next book that's going to yeah. fix them. Because <laughs> that, for me, would be going downwards. Yeah. Because you wouldn't be going for a higher... I mean, you know, like, if you had, like, an enlightened teacher that was living next door, I think that would be the only exception. Yeah. You know, you've got Buddha. Buddha comes and lives upstairs in your flat. And you go, actually, you can't come over, Buddha, because I'm doing my lessons today. So I think that's a high vibration. So, like, Buddha's at a, is probably going to, you know, the presence of an enlightened teacher for just sitting in the room doing a course lesson. Is anybody sitting under any trees around oh, yeah. So if, you, if you've got any sort of Buddha sitting on a tree. So that, I would do that. But generally, like, going for the self-help book, you know, like, uh, you know, 20 Ways to Make More Money uh, and Dump the Course in Miracles, but even most of the spirituality out there is at a low vibration because the course is at enlightenment. So even the, even even for me, stuff out there about just being loving and nice to everyone is at a lower vibration than like dissolving the core of the ego. So so that for me will mean that your ego, like anyone who's done who's challenged themselves to go to the next level of spiritual growth, will find a huge resistance. You know, the ego will always be like continually going for the easier, softer option. And it will give you, usually give you quite a high if you stop doing it for a while. It's like, it's like, thank God you stopped the Course in Miracles. Like, I'll give you several days off and I won't give you any resentments or <laughs> any grievances for several days because that was nearly killing me. It was actually killing the ego. So it will, like, give you a, a, a good honeymoon period. And then once you totally can't get into the Course and your vibration has dropped, then it will grab you with uh, lots, of, lots of stuff. So... Um, so, you know, the thing with Hawkins' research is it calibrates at the level of enlightenment. The lessons calibrate at the level of enlightenment, dissolving. 
So the ego, it will. You have fierce resistance unless you're a, an evolved spiritual seeker to stay the course and not go for something easier. Go through, like, whatever resistances you get. I mean, this is my experience. It's like, what taught me was the experience of a, of a teacher, of a uh, uh, Course in Miracles teacher, who had 23 illnesses leaving. And it's like, God, if that stuff can shift. Also, something else that Hawkins said, I'll quickly share it now which was so amazing. In case anyone, you, um, I hope everyone, well if you haven't, I'll, you, I'll tell you later on. But there's something called muscle testing or kinesiology, whereby if, if you test your muscles, you go weak when uh, something that's anti-life is said or done or you hold. And uh, Dr. Hawkins was having uh, a Course in Miracles group, and people actually, it was around lesson 78 or something. And every, you know, he would get the students up and he would get them to hold like a cigarette or something. No artificial sweeteners. And he would check their muscle strength and everyone would go weak. Because the body would just go weak when people held these artificial sweeteners to their thymus. And then it was around less than 76. You know, he got, he was just trying to show everyone how the muscles of the body respond to something that's not good for you. And then the students at around less than 76, of course, so it's quite funny, some people, someone said 70, around 76, they weren't going weak to the artificial, where they were the week before, and he got them up to do the same test, and he said, now hold this, uh, these artificial, and they, they, wouldn't go, they wouldn't go weak. And then he did the other test with these, uh, with these people, and said, look at the fluorescent lights, and let me check. And the week before, they were going weak, and at less than 76, they were still staying strong. And then it clicked to him that, was it the Course in Miracles? And then it was. It's like, as you were doing the Course, like normal people who weren't doing the Course, like would look at fluorescent lighting and go, the muscles would go weak. They would have artificial sweetening and the muscles would go weak. But at a certain point of doing the Course, all the students didn't go weak to these stimuli. And when I heard that, that was like, I, and I had experiences with muscle testing, I know it's true. I knew, wow! Like, you're not going to go weak to things that used to make you go weak. And, like, your illnesses can reverse if you let go. So, that was enough for me to, like, go through any resistance. Like, my God, I can get my life back if I do these lessons. And, and I knew that a lot of the other literature out there doesn't have that power. For, for mega miracles to happen, you need a certain level of spiritual dissolving of the ego. Like, which is like other, other, other books can't hit the spot. So, yeah, so I knew then that, you know, I wouldn't let the course, and I have been doing it on a daily. Also, this thing of, like, well, what if my vibration is higher than the Course in Miracles? Well, that would mean you'd be, like, an enlightened teacher. Which, of course, yes, if I'm an enlightened teacher, or, or if I'm in sublime flow states all the time, do I need... No, you, you don't. But I would say um, it is a, it's, it's like antivirus, even if you're in flow states. For me, the Course in Miracles is like antivirus, because the world can, if you're not doing your lesson throughout the day, I'm not fear-mongering, if anything, if you're in a flow state and you hook into anything, then that will take you out of the flow state, whatever it is. And uh, for people who've been in those long, divine, blissful states. So one thing, uh, and for me, just generally, as intuitively, if I was just doing my Course in Miracles, even if I was sublimely blissful every day, like, you know, God is love, I forgive, or I pray for a miracle to see this. That would just be like a little antivirus program running in, in the background. And it, even if something suddenly came up that hooked your ego out of the flow state, it would, uh, it would, it would like, you know, it'd be like a grace would come and you'd go, oh, God is loving, which I forgive this person, or I pray for a miracle to see them differently. Sure.